So I'm going to cover the IX and the NX in the way of a bind and fly. So when you get your bind and fly, in this case, I'm going to be using the UMX pits because it's something that you just open a box and bind. You don't have to do any building. So this is the perfect situation. And this is the situation I ran into myself as a new flyer. How do I get this thing bound easily? You get the book. The book has got some intimidating stuff in it that you don't necessarily understand. You know how to set all this stuff and you know all the stuff you do and great. And people cover it in videos on how to set it up like that. But I've never seen anybody cover it the way I want to cover it, which is the way a person who's just getting their first, second, third airplane and they want to get in the air and they don't want to waste a lot of time trying to understand stuff that they may or may not ever be interested in in the next 30 days. So this would my method would help a person not get discouraged by making this way too complicated. All right. So you open your box, you pull out your pits, you take the hood off. That's it. I'm going to disconnect. I'm going to sorry, connect the battery. Once I connect the battery, you see that red blinking. Now it's doing some. Now it's blinking. Uh, red and blue. All right. I'm going to move the pits out the way because it's of no importance at this part. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get down on this. Let's see if I can raise it up a little bit. Oh, I need to raise it up more than that. All right, so the pits is in buy mode. Um, I probably don't need to have it in buy mode right now. I could probably just do all this without it being in buy mode. I'm going to leave it there. It's not bothering anybody. It's going to sit there and blink. It might time out, but if it does, I'll just redo it. So anywho, I'm going to press both of these buttons on the NX series radio. This is the NX10. It could be any of the NXs. I, I believe there's no difference. Press those two together. I'm going to scroll down. Go to add new binding fly. That's what we want. It's a binding fly. We bought a binding fly. Why not add a binding fly? Then I'm going to E-Flight because it's made by E-Flight. The pits is an E-Flight product. So then it's in alphabetical order. So then I'm going to go down. Um, it is a UMX. So I'm going to just scroll to the very end. It might be in the section for UMXs. Let's see. Or it might just say pits. This is weird what the camera's doing. So I'm upset with that slightly. All right. That's not helping. All right. So I'm going to get back up to. There it is. It just randomly found it. UMX pits. I'm going to hit it. Um, yep end of the uh it will be added to the end of the model select list okay import transferring now the pits is still doing its little binding blink this transferring can be variable it sometimes takes longer than others all right that's it the pits is ready so it actually puts you into the pits so you're you're there you're ready to go so now i can turn it off and then turn it back on and press the bind button and turn it on i could do it that way but i'm already in here i might as well just go and do the little scrolly thingy to the bind hit bind continue then a lot more steps than the ix but So I stayed quiet so that you could hear the the pits initially set up. Um, now, of course, it's giving me a warning for low voltage because obviously this battery wasn't something that I was planning to fly with. But I'm going to uh, try to move this there. Maybe get this about there. And now my pits is all blue. Right. And... I didn't do anything else. I didn't set this model up any other way, but I'm going to push that to the right. And of course, my aileron goes right. All right. I'm going to show the tail. Push down. It's going up. I'm going to show my rudder. Oh, sorry. And my rudder is right. Uh, I, can, I can also check, uh, make sure my battery, which it wasn't is out of the way but i'm holding it securely and air is coming back it's going the correct direction so at this point within that few minutes like maybe two i'm flying instead of the way people want to show you where they're setting it up through all the menus and it's great if you know how to do that 
I, I'm not trying to knock it if you're, you know, you're a great RC person, you've been doing this your whole life, great, you can do it that way. The book says do it that way, do it that way. But they put binding flies in these very smart radios for a reason. Why would you not use that? So um, that's my rant about it. Uh, that's the uh, NX setup. I'm gonna do the whole thing again on an iX. This is something kind of cool I've never seen before, and I just thought I'd like put it on here. I was about to go ahead and switch to the iX, but I still had the pits connected. I went to power off the radio, and it came up with this cool me message: um, "Power off transmitter?" Question mark. Cancel or shut down. Receiver is still in operation. That is that is cool. I've never seen that before. So I'm going to disconnect the pits now so that I can ultimately put it back into bind mode. And wow, as soon as I disconnected the pits, now, now it went away. This, this technology is awesome. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit shut down. Cool. All right, we're gonna connect the pits. It's gonna blinky, blinky, blinky. It did some initiation. And it should go into bind mode. All right, there it is, bind mode, we're ready. Now I can proceed to bring this iX closer because that's all we're going to be focusing on right now is the screen. So if I tap, I'm in a test model already. If I tap that, then I long press on proceed. I'm going to get into my model list. Um, so from this point, you can scroll through if you wanted something. But the method I just used brings us into where there's the three dots. So I'm going to hit this and then I'm going to add new model. Click that. So, of course, I don't want these two right now. I want a bind and fly because we bought a bind and fly. So we want to bind and fly. I'm going to hit E flight. That brings me to my E flight birds. I'm going to scroll down because I know it's probably under UMX because that NX was under UMX. Uh, and there it is, UMX pits. I'm surprised there's no picture. There's a picture for a lot of these. All right, so then now I'm uh, scroll down to the bottom. I see this UMX pits. I got to select it on the iX. You don't have to select it on NX. It automatically went into it. I could do the picture and all that, but if you just want to fly, you're at the flying field, you want to fly, right? So then at this point, I could change the name if I wanted to. I could do all kinds of stuff. But anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I'm back up. Oh, I'm still in test model. So sorry, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to long press. I'm going to go down to the bottom, UMX pits. I'm going to hit proceed. Now I'm into the UMX pits. Now from this air, this radio, I can just hit bind one time and then I can go into bind. Now listen. Bind complete. DSMX 22 milliseconds. Telemetry. So that's it. The pits is bound. Now you are with a fresh battery. You'd be flying now. Racing, you know, well, you'd wait for your packets to download. So that's all right. I'm done. I'm going to get back off of this again. Same thing I did. We get this out the way, put the radio here, and of course the same battery not charged for flying message comes up because of course it's not charged for flying. It's actually in storage mode. So then same situation I did before to show you, verify that this is all on the level. Uh, oh, you can't see the radio, so I'm going to get it back here. All right. That's it. That's working. Elevator and rudder. And of course, just check the power just for the formality. Yes, that's it, you're flying. So instead of the long setup, which don't get me wrong, the setup isn't that long, you know? And when you understand how to do it, trust me, it's not a big deal. But if you are like I was at the beginning stages of doing this, and that, that whole manual situation is intimidating to you, buy a bind and fly, get in the air, enjoy the hobby a little bit, and then worry about trying to do the, the you know, whole setup, the way the manual outlines it and all this. Um, I just think that's, you know, something noteworthy because I searched it a whole lot when I was beginning. And I'm going to tell you, there's no information about that out there uh, because I was so confused. I was like, it says bind and fly. And then I found it in the radio and I'm like, okay, this is, this is here, but nobody shows you how to do it. And so you're like, so you're left wondering if you did it right the whole time, yada, yada, yada. Trust me, that method is correct. Now I'm curious if the NX series did a, a weird little message where you cut it off with a receiver connected. Um, 
Let's see if this does it on the IX. So I'm going to double tap and I'm going to go to sleep mode. Nope, it'll allow you to set it off with the uh, with the NX, the IX and the NX wouldn't. So crazy because it's the the top dog. And OK, I've got it again. Let's see if I actually shut down if that does any because I actually shut the NX down. It doesn't have a sleep mode. So I'm going to hit power Battery off. Yep, it shuts it down. It doesn't it doesn't do any uh, <laughs> safety message. So uh, that's just uh, that's it. I don't want to make the video too long because I want it to be short and sweet. And that's covering two radios. So it's it's probably longer than it needs to be because it is two radios. Um, but it, it covers everything I wanted to say. So for NX and IX, that's your setup for bind and fly. You're in the air in minutes. Uh, no worries. So uh, until I get the reverse thrust set up, thanks for watching and please, uh, you know, let me know how I'm doing. Make some comments. Let me know what's up. I I'm really uh, on the edge of my seat trying to figure out if I'm doing a good job or not. And a lot of people have been encouraging. And of course, there's always some negative people. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but I'm, I'm just going to keep it moving and try to like add to this to what people want to see that's not being covered. Because that's the main thing I want to focus on is what what's not flooded out there already. Thank you. A couple of things uh, I thought about after I finished up with that portion. I went into the manual and um, it goes into transmitter setup. And this is the little area that I was told I was talking about when I was telling you, you know, how, you know, this is the setup and this is what they tell you to do. It doesn't say anywhere in here about the whole bind and fly thing. But anyway, it tells you how to do it. And trust me, it's very easy to do this once you understand. But when I was looking at this originally, I was like, what, what is low, high, dual rates? What, what is all of that? And all of that is done if you use that bind and fly. And even safe mode, like uh, if you go into it and, and you, you like check it, it's all set up. So even like safe, let me, let me illustrate that. So if I were to do, a, a bank and then I would turn you see how the the aileron surface is, is straight now that means it stops the aircraft from going any further and then when you release it it's gonna self right the aircraft again see it's self right it it's safe mode is active now let's say oh well it's gonna be on safe all the time somebody's gonna say that no it's not see this for aircraft that don't have landing gear, for some reason, they switch these two switches out, which is very ludicrous to me. They should make this one the switch all the time for safe mode, but they don't because this aircraft doesn't have landing gear, so they, they made it on this. And I'm a, and I even check on any of this, but I know it works. Watch. I'm, I'm in safe mode. It's trying to autocorrect. Turn it off. Now it's on its own. Aircraft ain't making any noises anymore. No AS3X. Now it will do AS3X, but I have to power it up. So let me... All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the throttle cut. But now AS3X is active while it's uh, out of safe mode. So like that's safe, it's autocorrecting. Now it's straightened out. Like so now it's gonna do whatever you want to do, but AS3X is active. So you're still gonna have AS3X. Everything happens perfectly with that bind and fly. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention before I close out is this is with a normal menu. Like this pits menu is so quick and basic, but look at this, you see all that? That's intimidating when you first dig into this. Like you got all these steps, man. So like, you know, flaps and you know, all of these things are a, a new process. And, and when you break it down, it's easy. But when you don't know, you don't know. So these are the separate radio systems that you could use it in. And this is the basic setup. But like I said, it's it can be more intimidating than it should be. And for that reason, they have the bind and fly uh, in the radio for you to do quick and easy, no problems. So that's all I got to say about that.